Right. Um, after some rather, um, uh, shall we say, uh, unexpected um, investigation um, with the uh, slight error with these PWM5 through holes, it appears um, that the board is working as I expected. Um, everything connects properly. Um, but there is a problem with the way the program has been taken by the PIC 12F683. Um, after some uh, rather thorough investigation, um, I've discovered that these particular PICs are clones. So what should be genuine PIC 12683s are in fact fakes. Now, I'm not really into the whole software thing. Um, but when I've run um, a known real 12F683 programmed with the exact same code that this has been programmed with, it works exactly as expected. So it basically starts to apply the PWM at around 13.6 volts um, and by 13.7 it's basically shutting the MOSFET off uh, for so much of the time that it's just bleeding a small amount of current into the battery. The rest is just um, being used to raise the voltage on the solar panel side of the circuit. This particular pick, um, the way the program has been is being interpreted by the processor, um, it's applying a very similar system, um, but it's doing it at less than 13 volts. And it's not doing it with any degree of accuracy. It's wavering up and down by about three or four hundred millivolts every time the um, pulse width is applied. So there's something in the way that this chip has been programmed which is upsetting the way it's working. I don't believe the program has gone in wrong. I believe it's probably due to the processing section of the pick not interpreting the program that's been loaded incorrectly so a bit of a strange end to my uh, build um, I do have a one I did earlier <laughs> which works absolutely fine um, it has a genuine pick chip in it and the pick works as expected um, so the next course of action for me to do with this one is to cut this chip out it's obviously no good to me um, it may be okay if I was running um, uh, a 3S LiPo pack because uh, with its own BMS because actually it would hold the voltage about right. Um, but this system is designed for lead acid and LiPos are very different in the way they're charged. They shouldn't have the continuous trickle charge put into them. Although theoretically the BMS would take care of that. Um, but for the time being I'm going to cut this one out because this is um, a revision 3 board. Um, and I want to make sure that I give this a thorough shakedown before I release the kits. Um, I've obviously got to order a whole bunch more um, picks and program them. Um, I'm going to make sure I get genuines this time, not um, some one hung low ones from from China, which incidentally look almost exactly the same. It's only under a, mic a magnifying glass that you can see that the screen printing on this particular, or the laser etching on this chip, isn't as good um, or as accurately applied. As the genuine picks that I have so it's the problem with buying from China is it's a real <laughs> it's a real sort of um, hit and miss game I've my um, Pico kits which use um, the surface mount version they are all clones and they work fine absolutely not a problem with them I've been selling them for a year, I've not had any problems, and I've been using the same system for over 12 months, and my own system's not had a problem. But this particular um, batch of clones is obviously not right. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this chip out, desolder it, I'm going to solder in a socket, and then I'm going to put in a genuine PIC 12F pre-programmed, and I'll see how this board performs with a correctly working chip. Right, I will just run a quick voltage um, 
sweep through this one so we can just get a rough idea of what it's doing wrong now it's currently on my bench power supply bench power supply is showing 12.2 um, this is showing we'll just do this counts one two 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 so it's 12.2 which is correct so if I nudge the voltage up slowly Right, so that's now 12.6. We'll see what this is showing now. One, two. About six, five or six. Um, right, we'll start nudging it up to, to 13 volts, and very soon this will start going into its random piece. There we go. So this is actually applying PWM at... It's not even a smooth, it fl it's flickering about all over the place. About 13.7-ish. Difficult to get it exactly right. Oh, what were those power supplies that's got twisty knobs on the front? Alright. The course adjustment is a bit too coarse. It's about 13.7. Now you see there, it's just, oh, what's going on, One. yeah, 13.7 is when it starts to PWM, so, I'm, I'm lying, it's not 13.7, it's 12.7, it's where the PWM starts to be applied, so it's clearly not right, it's not processing the data correctly, um, I have wondered whether it would be possible just to tweak the voltage divider values slightly, just tweak them. But actually it's probably better just to program the chips correctly, um, which is obviously is the, the way to do it. Um, so, next job, like I say, cut this one out, put in a socket, try this circuit, the version 3 board, with the correct um, working pick and go from there. Right, I've cut the chip out, um, just got to remove the remnants of the pins from the holes and I'm going to solder in a socket so that I can replace the chips as I need. Right, I've got the um, pins out, you can see the remnants around here, just going to put the socket in now. Alright, I just thought I'd... <coughs> solder this on camera and that's only a bit of soldering but uh, just to prove that I do actually do my own work I do like soldering these plated through holes they do solder nicely and they give a nice flat solder fillet because the majority of the solder is drawn through the hole so actually there's no need to pile it up because it's drawn right through. So that's that in. The um, socket is in place. Now I do have a charge controller chip. Let's get those out of the way before they short. Um, programmed, ready to go. It's currently working in another charge controller. I will just go and find that and install it in this board and we'll test it live on camera. Right, there's the programmed genuine working PIC 12F683. Just going to stick it in the board, make sure it goes the right way around of course. Nice new socket, nice tight fit. Excellent, that's what I like to see. Right, now my bench power supply is going to be set at uh, well, it's 12.7 volts at the minute. So we'll hook this one up. Um, let's get it the right way around. This is the neg line. This is the pos. Something not right there. Bad connection somewhere. There we go. Right, it's booted. 
and it should show around 13.5 volts, uh, 12.5 volts, something like that. One, two, well, about seven. So that's about right. Okay, so I will now increase the voltage to where I expect it to be beginning to PWM, which is, well, it's now on 13.4 volts on my bench power supply, and it's not at PWM yet. Oh, it's just coming in at 13.5. So that is actually working absolutely spot on the way it's supposed to. So it's definitely a problem with the programming. Yes, exactly 13.5, that begins to enter PWM. So that's proved my theory that there's a fault with the, um, the, PIC, 12, 6, the PIC 12F683s that I've got from China, which don't appear to work the way that um, the correct pick is supposed to, even though it's got the same code loaded into it.